What's up, my pilots? Hey, Angry Poncho here, and we're back playing Pokemon White! In this episode, we're going to run around in the streets, and then go this way. So I'm looking for the building where... What does this sign say? Game Freak, that's not it. We're looking for the building, I think it's called the Battle Company, where there are a bunch of trainers who want to fight me. Hello? It's difficult to watch TV from here, that's not your concern. <laughs> what a stupid thing to complain about, it's like, I can't see the TV from very well behind this counter. Well, why don't you just put it in the corner at an angle and then you can see it from the whole room? That's the way I have my TV. It works great, I'm telling you. That guy's laughing at his Pokemon, I don't know what. Yeah, we're post-commentating Pokemon from now on, because the emulator is so out of sync with real time when it's recording, it lags up so much that it makes my voice go in and out of sync by several seconds when I do live commentary, so post it is. This is fine. It means I can just edit more. It'll be it'll be fancier. Not nearly as fancy as Skinly's videos. He's got like bios and stuff. If you want to see a good LP of Pokemon Black, you should check out Skinly19. He's the same guy that I'm racing uh, Doom with. You find a link to his channel in the description. But yeah, you should check out his Pokemon Black LP because his is not blind, so he knows a lot more about the Pokemon than I do, and he'll actually give you some advice if you've never played before. You know what to pick, what Pokemon are good. Whereas I'm just a derp. I'm a derp. Just a man with a man's courage. You know he's nothing but a man. Yeah, the thing with post commentary is that it makes it really easy for me to break into song because I don't have to actually focus on the game at all. That guy in there was talking about melodies, by the way. This door. This friggin' door. Ding. Oh! I just remember where that sound was from! I could not remember uh, the sound of this door opening and closing the bell. I could not figure out where I had heard that sound before when I was making this video, and it was bothering me so much, and I just heard it. I just, like, do you ever... Do you ever walk into a room in your house, and suddenly you smell someone who's not there, or maybe someone who's been dead for a long time, or someone that you just haven't seen in a long time. Like, maybe you might smell your grandmother's, like, jasmine perfume or something, you haven't seen her in a few years or whatever, and all of a sudden you just, you smell, and that person just, like, like, fills you, and you can't, like, escape the fact that, like, you just, this feeling that they're right there next to you. It's pretty crazy, I know but apparently that's really common, actually, that happens to people. Or, like, all of a sudden, this just, like, sensation of being near to someone you know, like, washes into you. It's sort of like having a flashback. I don't know if you guys know about this, but, like, flashbacks are more than just a movie, like, the film phenomenon. People actually will flash back to parts of their lives. Unfortunately, it mostly happens to people who've been traumatized by something horrible. But you can actually have flashbacks to good things, too. And that's sort of what's happening there when you just like suddenly like have this sensation that someone you haven't seen in a long time is near you. Uh, it can be very real and very like moving. Anyway, I just when I heard that bell just then, I like for like a second I forgot I was recording, and I was standing in a street, a dark, wild west street, a tiny town way off. Like, the railroad off everything. It's got a graveyard behind the church, a, an old mission with a scorpion in a drawer, and just... Yeah, you know what game I'm talking about. I'm talking about Dust. Anyway, we found the battle company. Here it is. <laughs> yeah, so... The game's called Dust. And when you first arrive at this town, you're a stranger. You're nobody. In fact, everybody calls you stranger for a long time. That would be a great LP. Oh my god. I want to play Dust. Last time I played Dust, I was probably on the Windows 95. I don't know if that would even run on this machine. I might have to emulate it or something. I'm gonna look into that. That was a great game. But yeah, this is sound of bells ringing because there's wind chimes near the entrance to the to the town when you first arrive. Oh my gosh, I, I must have played the first ten minutes of that game over and over again so many times when I was a kid. I can't remember why I kept starting over. Probably because I, I felt like I did something wrong. It's one of those games where you only get one chance at most things. Anyway, we're actually in a battle now, so I should talk about it. Go, Timpole! Yeah, we're gonna be running Timpole a lot now because I, I need to be able to. Uh, I, I just I like him, and I've sort of decided that 
I, I, I know what my final party is going to be, and Timple is in it, so I want him to be a rock-on, kick-some-butt kind of Pokemon. Which means we're going to make him use Bulb Beam and not Diarrhea Shot, just so we can keep him a little bit more respectable, if all possible. Yeah, he could have taken me out there if he'd actually used Takedown, but nope, he decided to go for Odor Sleuth and let himself be diarrhea on. Good work. Good work, AI of the computers. You're sucking it up as usual. Ding! Level 23! Temple grew! Temple wants to learn the move Uproar. However, Temple already knows four moves. Can be deleted? Um... Nah. Give up? <laughs> no! Don't give up on Uproar! <laughs> you weird... Don't give up on it! Anyway. Yeah, I think I'm gonna forget... Let's see, attacks for three turns. No one can fall asleep. And it has 90 power. It's a normal type special attack. Eh, whatever. That works fine for Tim Paul, I think. Let's get rid of Aqua Ring. You guys told me that Aqua Ring sucked. And that it only restored, I think, like an eighth or like a sixteenth of your HP or something like that. It's just a waste, a waste of a move. And Tim Paul's not a defensive Pokemon anyway, so... He's better served with an attack like Uproar. This is actually a good normal type move, so he can use it on types that he might otherwise have a disadvantage against, such as like a grass type or something, because his ground and water type moves are not going to do much to a grass type Pokemon. Etc, <laughs> etc. Et but yeah, Dust! Oh my gosh, that game had such great ambience, and you had... It was a it was a game made for adults, I'll be honest. That game was definitely marketed at like 15 and up, as where it was its audience back in the day, and that was who played computer games back in the early 90s. It wasn't little kids. He had to have he had to actually had to spend some money in order to get that machine running enough to be able to play games. <laughs> you had to have a pretty nice computer back in the day just to run the basic games. Because most of the time people were just using it for word processing. I'm pleased to meet you. Please allow me to introduce you to my Pokemon. He speaks in a very flat and sort of rant, rant, rant voice. And no wonder, he's on his cell phone. <laughs> like half the time he's talking to us, uh, half the time he's talking on his phone. How are you supposed to have a Pokemon battle when you're on the phone? You can't even focus, man. It's like trying to have a Pokemon battle while you narrate everything you're doing. It's just ridiculous. No one could possibly do that. I still have a decent uh, chance at winning a battle. So Timber uses Timber uses Bye. And I'm going second, but, check it out, my mud shot's lowering his speed. So he's storing energy, that's his second turn. So on his next turn, he's going to release, but I just lowered his speed for a second time. So now, I go again, and go first. But, unfortunately, despite... Okay, yeah, that kind of pissed me off. Uh, I lowered his speed twice, and he was still faster than me. And I didn't think Timple was a slow Pokemon, but whatever. We'll just work with it, and now I'm just going to be crazy and set up a normal type of Pokemon against a fighting type, because I don't even care. Let's take him out. Thankfully, Hurtier is faster, and so it's not even an issue. Take him down! Take him down! Yeah, got some experience, man. So, I don't know how you guys feel about the post-commentary. Let me know in the comments whether it's better or worse. I'll let you know right now, um, my post-commentary is going to be... I'm going to exhibit a proclivity toward running on random tangents, and my conversations will derail and detour at every opportunity. Just be aware of that. Apparently this, this guy's Pokémon slaps him every morning in order to wake him up, which seems ridiculous. You think you could train it to not do that, or at least just tell it. Like if Ash, Ash's Pikachu slapped Ash, he would just be like, hey, Stop it. I think that would be enough. <laughs> I think I think Pikachu would get it. FYI, or uh, FYI, that's not what I meant. By the way, BT Dubs, did uh, Ash's Pikachu ever have a, a gender in canon? Because I always thought it was a boy, but that's just because I was a boy when I was a kid. You sort of assume. Anyway, I went in here and got healed. And now we're going to buy some super potions and stuff, because I don't want to have to actually come back to this friggin' Pokemon Center, because it takes like a minute of me just standing there in front of the counter before they take my Pokemon and heal them. It's really weird. This emulator is strange. So, again, another reason for post-commentary. I can get all that weird stuff. I'm also grabbing some other goodies because we've got all this money and I think this might be the first time we visited a shop within the whole game. I gotta say, I approve of putting the Pokemon Mart in the Pokemon Center. 
That's an improvement. This generation doesn't have too many that I can think of off the top of my head. Besides the... <laughs> the hilarious bridge with the graphics changes. <sighs> and the uh, fact that the Pokemon Marts are now inside the Pokemon Centers, it's even better. How many of you guys just yawned? Leave a comment if you just yawned. <laughs> That's so funny. That's the power of suggestion, man. It's just one of those things. People think I'm so serious because I'm a scientist. Well, if you're not serious about your science, what are you serious about? So I was thinking I might try some fun commentary challenges uh, for Pokemon. Here, none of I have an actual post-commentary LP, which I've never had before. Have I? Let me think about that. No, I post-commentated the Flash games. This ain't required so much editing for Give it all my failures. Is that it? Have I possibly hated anything else? Anything else comes to mind right away? I don't think so. We'll see how it goes. It'll be a new thing for me. And it'll probably become more vloggity than you guys might be used to, but whatever. Shocking. No way! I lost! <laughs> like, you dumbass. Shut up. <laughs> oh, and the girl turns right around and sees me. He's like, man, I wanted to get that Pokeball. Hee <laughs> hee! <laughs> so adorable. Uh, hey, I can check my phone while I'm making commentary now. It's pretty sweet. So do you guys uh, have any decent cell phones? I've actually just got a new phone like two weeks ago. Whenever I came back from spring break, my folks had bought me a new one, so I was pretty excited about that. But previously I had a, an LG Rumor 2, which is just a phone with a keyboard, and it doesn't have like a data plan or a touchscreen or anything like that. But this new plan, this new thing I've got is a friggin' what is this? An Optimus Slide. It's another LG phone. It's got a touch screen. It's running the Android OS. I think it's running a Buttercup or something like that. <laughs> they all have such silly names. All the operating systems on Android. Or maybe it's like, is it like Muffin or something? I don't know. It's something silly. But I finally have a data plan, and it's pretty sweet. So I can do like the silly like games and stuff and be playing. Words with friends, beating all my friends at Scrabble. It's pretty funny. Playing some Angry Birds for the first time ever. It's pretty hilarious because it's like Angry Birds has become this ubiquitous flash game. It's like, oh, sitting at the bus stop, let's play some Angry Birds, waiting for the bus. And I'm like only just getting around to it. I'm like a reverse hipster. I'm playing it after it was cool, but like after it stopped being cool. <laughs> like it was cool for a while, then it went away. Yeah, I feel like now everyone's moved on to the new, the new big thing. I don't know what the new big thing is, because I'm still behind the times. So this guy thinks people should exchange business cards. But, we're trainers, so it's time for a Pokemon battle. Maybe I'll actually talk about this one. So since it's this Basculin, which just immediately reminds me of... another Pokemon from an earlier generation that... the, the one that evolved into Sharpedo. What was that one called? Yeah, it's like a, an alliterative kind of name, but the name sort of implied something about it, like they all do. What was that called? The Pokemon that evolved in the Sharpedo it was an angry looking little fish, and it had the rough skin attribute, or ability. And I, I look at this Bascula, and I. or is it. is it Basculia? What's that spelled? Basculin. Basculin. And I, um. It looks like it would have rough skin too, but. I don't know if I ever actually physically attack it, so I would never find out. Does it have does it have the rough skin ability? Where if you physically attack it, you take damage? It's almost like recoil from touching the rough scales. What the heck was that Pokemon called? The one that evolved in the Sharpedo. It's a crazy little fish dude. It was, it was like an angry, like it was like a barracuda kind of fish, but it wasn't that big it wasn't it wasn't called anything related to Barracuda, was it? Holy crap, I just realized. I can go on Google while I'm doing my commentary now. Oh, let me turn off my Pandora. I'll be playing music. Sharpedo. <laughs> this is awesome. I can do whatever I want while I'm commentating now. We can love it. That Pokemon was Carvana. Yeah, it was. It was Piranha. That's what it was to play on. Carvana was the name of the Pokemon. Do you guys think that Basculin looks a little bit like Carvana? I think it looks way too similar, to be honest. 
I mean, I recognize that these were Gen 5 games, and they decided we're going to have only Gen 5 Pokémon until you beat the Elite 5, or however many there are now. And I, I respect that. They kind of wanted to make a new universe rather than just the same one again. But to be honest, it, uh, they ended up reinventing the wheel on a lot of Pokémon, and that last one looked like it may have been another Carvana. I'm not sure, though. I don't have one, so I can't look at the stats and see whether it's a special attacker or a physical, or if it has the rough skin or whatever. But, whatever. I think we've reached the last guy on this floor. I'm in charge of development! I'm gonna give you this, because you came here for a company tour! Maple, obtain the scope lens! Go, Maple! If Pokémon holds the scope lens, it is a better chance to get a critical hit! Critical hit! Ding! 55, please. <laughs> You arrived at the top floor. <laughs> Going down. Do 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 do. Got a hyper potion. Sweet. And another battle. Oh, an unfamiliar face. <laughs> He's like, I don't recognize you. Let's fight. <laughs> wouldn't it be funny if that was the actual response in the real world? Be a little bit crazy, wouldn't it? Oh, yeah. We got a Pokemon here. Sea Waddle. Grass and bug type. I got nothing that I can use against it effectively, so the best I can do is uproar. This is what I'm saying, that normal type move, best chance I got against the grass type Pokemon. And it's got 90 power, so it's not it's not a weak move either. You see it's done doing some damage there. Uproar, uproar! Yeah, I'm loving it. And it uses razor leaf. Do four times the damage. And I withstand it! I was astounded actually at how four times the damage and I didn't die. I think it's because I got four levels on him, so I got a little bit more health than he does, but wow! I was impressed with Tim Pole for surviving that one. And now, I'm going to accidentally talk to this guy. <laughs> I don't believe anything about science, but if it makes me happy, that's a fact. Or something like that, whatever he said. So now we're going to potionify Tim Pole to prepare... Actually, I, keep saying, I should say her. Tim Pole's a female. I didn't, I didn't notice that until just now. Actually, I may have noticed that in a previous video and just totally forgotten, and that's my prerogative. My prerogative! He says, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a break, so let's fight. Yeah, like, just, let's just have a fight all the time now. This guy has a sweet mob jacket! Actually, it's just purple, isn't it? Just purple. Purple? <laughs> Go Timbal! Use Diarrhea Blast! No, I think I'm gonna use Bubble Beam, because he's a water type. I think the ground type would do double damage, too. Probably does more, I think. Right Mud shot. If I recall correctly. Got another grass type. I'm gonna see how well my uproar strategy works this time. Reet, 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 reet. <laughs> that sound it makes is kind of funny. And he's gonna leech seed me. This is irritating. I'm just glad the leech seed doesn't do doesn't have a multiple on the damage, because I would, it would be doing four times as much damage to me each turn. But I don't think that it absorbs that much, so no biggie. And then, wow. That's a lot of damage on that last upload. Was that a critical hit or something? It didn't look like it. I mean, it, it didn't say, did it? I don't know. It was weird. Critical hit! Who's that from? Why do I know that? You guys know where that's from. Tell me in the comments. Temple, calm down. So I guess it's, it's sort of like outrage, where you like have to attack all three turns, and then it says that you finally like, chilled out at the end. It's kind of funny. So I think Timpole, with his water, ground, and normal type moves, can at least do one times damage to every Pokemon, and he can do double to quite a number of them. Which is good! Now Panpour is taking advantage of the Leech Seed from Pan Sage, so I'm gonna do my best to make him crippled. So I'm gonna use Supersonic try and confuse it, and then it won't be able to attack me as often, which will help counteract the fact that it's still got a leech seed on it. And it looks, looks like it's hurting itself in its confusion effectively neutralizes leech seed on each turn it hurts himself. It hurts itself. So I'm going to throw down a super potion, but the music has gotten intense. <laughs> I don't actually want Dimple to faint. Now the game's going in like slow motion. Sweet! More confusion damage. And as you can see, it, it pretty much gets cancelled out by the Leech Seed healing. Which means I'm losing health in, in this in the long run here. I need to do something to 
get the battle back in my favor. Lowering his speed's not gonna help because I'm already going first, but much shot, just, you know, delay them some damage. I could have gone for Uproar, but I didn't want to get sucked into it if the Leech Seed, if the Leech Seed started to take off too much damage, or if it came out of its confusion and started attacking me. I could have lost because I wasn't able to heal by being stuck in the Uproar. So I decided to keep doing Mud Shot instead. I was sapped by Leech Seed, and that sucks. So now we, yeah, now I do the upward because I want to make sure I finish him on this next shot so he doesn't start healing himself again. There he goes. Noisily done, Temple. And we defeated the male clerk, Wade. This encounter is yours. You win for now! Alright, now what am I doing? I think I'm going to heal him up, aren't I? We're gonna go up there and fight that last guy. I went around a couple trainers back there, but whatevs. I fought enough of them. I fought plenty. Ain't got time to bleed! Wait, didn't I make that same reference in the Minecraft video today? Ah. I couldn't remember if it was when I actually did this one the first time or not. Are you prepared to face the strongest person in this building? Are you prepared to face the chairman? The time has come! I am the one! I accept your challenge! What? I thought you were the lowly janitor! Challenged by Janitor to Jeff. I'll be honest, when I was playing this in real time, I had no idea what was going on here. I didn't recognize the guy as a janitor on the first floor, and so then when I got attacked by the janitor here, I was like, I thought that they were the chairwoman was here. Why am I being, why am I fighting the janitor? I'm confused. And so I was like, okay, I guess I have to fight the janitor, and then he'll let me know where the actual chairman is. But apparently it's just the chairman dressed up as a janitor. But he's really playing the part because he's got this Trubbish Pokemon. Let me be honest, this is a shit Pokemon. Trubbish? It's a garbage bag! Are you serious? I mean, I get that it's like an urban Pokemon or something, and it's basically the same as like a muck or whatever, but the whole idea is, oh, it's pollution, it's supposed to be like an urban thing. It's a friggin' garbage bag with hands and a face. That doesn't, that doesn't, that doesn't even count as a Pokemon. You can't just take an inanimate object and say, oh, well, let's make that a Pokemon. I think the next Pokemon could just be a friggin' TV set with a face. It could be a psychic type and have hypnosis and have like a swirly thing on the screen. That's a Pokemon, right? No, it's not a Pokemon. That's garbage. No one would accept that as a Pokemon. And yet, a friggin' trash bag? Are you serious, man? Aw, poor Temple. Got killed by that adorable squirrel! Oh, he's so pretty. I want one of those little squirrel things. Double kick. You, sir, just got owned. Super effective! Attack its weak point for massive damage! Wow, you really cleaned up. Har 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 har. I disguise myself as a janitor because I like to know what kinds of trainers come here. I had a good time battling you. This is a token of my esteem. Please accept it. Maple will receive the experience share! A Pokemon holding the experience here gets some of the experience from a battle, even if they're not involved. That's right, it's useful for raising really weak Pokemon! And I'm running in circles to celebrate, apparently. I don't remember doing that, but okay. It's on film, so apparently I did! Sweet! Which floor would you like to go to? Ah, the bottom floor. Well, I believe that's it for this episode. In the next episode, we're gonna leave this town and head to the next one. Give me tips for good Pokemon to find. And where's my friggin' Litwick? See you guys later!